Okay, so when we look at the periodic table, we know that all the elements in any particular group all have the same number of electrons in them. So they behave in the same way when they react with other chemicals. That's right. But why do chemicals react together? What actually makes them react? Good question. Chemicals react together because they're trying to fill their outer shells with electrons. It's almost as if a chemical's big ambition in life is to have its outer shell completely filled with electrons. But why? Because of a full outer shell, the chemical will become totally stable. It's a bit like you, Callum. You're ratty and reactive when you've got an almost empty stomach, but calm and stable when your stomach is completely full. I can understand that. So, let's look at these two atoms. One has seven electrons in its outer shell, and the other only has one electron in its outer shell. And I bet the atom with one electron in its outer shell is desperate to get rid of that single electron. And the atom with seven electrons in its outer shell wants to grab that single electron for its outer shell. That way, they both have outer shells completely filled with eight electrons. Exactly. And that's why chemicals react. The chemicals with one, two or three electrons in their outer shell will try to get rid of their outer electrons, whilst the chemicals with five, six or seven electrons in their outer shell will try to gain more outer electrons. The chemicals with four electrons in their outer shell will also try to gain more electrons by either stealing or sharing, but we'll deal with those ones later on. Ah, uh, I get it. So when chemicals react, they either gain or lose electrons because they are trying to get a full outer shell of electrons. Now, let's look at the group one elements. Group one elements only have one electron in their outer shell. Which means they all behave in a similar way when they react with other chemicals. This is lithium reacting with water. Wow, it just starts to burn up. Yep, group one chemicals are reactive. This is sodium reacting with water. Sodium reacts even faster. And potassium reacts in the water. Vicious. Potassium reacts fastest of all. The elements in group one become more reactive as we go down the group. Why is that then? Because in a group one atom, the negative electron in the outer shell is trying to escape. But the atom's nucleus has a positive charge and opposites attract. So the positive nucleus is trying to hold on to the negative electron. Yes, but the atoms get bigger as we go down group one. Which means the outer electron is further away from the nucleus. So it's easier for this electron to get away. So this element is more reactive. Precisely. In group one, the elements get more reactive as they get bigger. However, if we take a look at group seven, we can see that the elements become lesser as we go down the group. But that's the exact opposite to group one. You're saying that the atoms get bigger and less reactive as we go down the group. Why? Because group seven atoms have seven electrons in their outer shell, which means they only need to gain one more electron in order to get a full outer shell of eight electrons. Ah, I get it. So if the atom's positive nucleus is closer to the outer electron shells, it can exert a stronger force to pull in an electron. Which makes it more reactive. Got it. So the way in which any of these chemicals react is defined by two things. The number of electrons in the atom's outer shell and the distance between the outer shell and the nucleus. Exactly.